Morning guys! I made Allie breakfast. So, here's her toast. It's got avocado and tomato, salt and pepper. And then I'm also making her a smoothie. So here is her smoothie. It is one banana, a cup of oats, two medjool dates, soy milk, vanilla, and cinnamon. Hello beautiful subscribers, friends of the internet. I am currently making some tofu steak for our dinner tonight with Allie's family. So here is the first tray. Um, they've been marinating in barbecue sauce for a day. Delicious. Allie thinks they smell delicious. I think they smell delicious too. Look what I put together. And yes. Allie put together the foreman grill. And by putting it together, I screwed on the lid and uh, attached the probe. But I did something. It comes yeah. with a. Uh... So that we're gonna cook inside because it's like 95 degrees outside and it, the high today is 104. So I'm not cooking outside oh. and yeah. So Allie's got the George Foreman and she's in her cow pajamas. So, it comes yeah. With the stand, so you can use it outside. Yeah. But we didn't set up the stand because, like Ray said, we're just gonna cook inside, which is fine. And allegedly, it serves twelve people, whether that's twelve uh, full-fledged American people or twelve full-fledged American people, like what you're supposed to be, probably what you're supposed to be. But it's pretty cool. We used to have like uh, another one at the house. It's pretty big. Yeah, but it is pretty big. I think it'll be fun. Yeah, I think I could probably cook eight steaks on there. I don't think I could do 12, but I could do definitely do eight. Mm -hmm. So, like four on the top, four on the bottom. But, uh, well, I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe ten. Oh, Lord. Maybe ten. Maybe they weren't stretching over that number. But I'm super excited. We bought this, like, months ago? Like, almost a year ago. Really? Yeah, we got the gift card for uh, Christmas. Jenny. Yeah. We got it for Christmas and we picked it up at, like, in December or January. While Mr. Black is hard at work at his tofu steaks, I'm going to work on our mashed potatoes. Yay! Went to 99 cent store a few days ago and they didn't have the rusted potatoes, but they had these yellow, little yellow ones. So I'm like, yeah, we can change it up. So I'm going to... Extra creamy, soup cream. So the rosemary and they were uh, cooked in a vegetable stock. So that should be delicious and it should be good and flavorful and I cannot wait. Super excited. Okay, here's a little bit of the mashing. Obviously it looks more like chunks, like potato chunks, but... Still got a bunch more potatoes to go. You can see the steam blowing off of these bad boys, so uh, super excited! Round one of mashed potatoes complete. Round two commencing. The tofu steaks are baking. So basically I'm gonna bake them so that they kind of get like a good crisp, not crisp, but like they're nice and firm and all the water's gone. And then after this I'm gonna um, just leave them in the oven for to stay warm and when we're ready to eat I'm gonna lather them in more barbecue sauce and uh, put them on the grill so they'll get some nice grill marks and uh, kind of crispy crisp it up got a bunch of French bread yeah we'll be eating French bread for a while Raymond's working on some green peas then they're here yay Eating chips and salsa and stuff. Say hi, everybody. Hi. To my mom and dad down there and Kilua. Say hi, Kilua. <laughs> this girl that got in trouble and now her face is just so like. She's trying to um, see when she can come out and when Ray's not in here. <laughs> okay, why is she I don't know. Why would she go on that small bed? Yes, Raymond. Am I in trouble? Am I not? I don't know. My Tai Chi coffee. Yeah. I heard you. You want more chips? Did you say? Nice. More chips? Yeah, it's over there if you want. 
Look at your little bump. You have a bump, Jenny. That's so not fair. <laughs> I feel like I could have waited. No, you could have. You think you could have waited? waited. <laughs> yeah, because you're three months now, right? Yeah. Yeah, and that's usually when you're supposed to show. Yeah. And I was all waiting for mine. I'm like, yeah, any day now, <laughs> any day now. I mean, like nothing. So like it's a cute little bump. Should. No, I saw. <laughs> oh my God, you look cute though. Thanks. We were just saying. Really cute. No, but you look <laughs> very cute. Okay, it's 10:30. I'm gonna sit here and edit the vlog for tomorrow which is today which you guys are watching right now because tomorrow which is Monday I have to run around and go pick up a check that was paid to us on Friday and what else do I have to do I'm so sorry I'm out of breath because I have climbed up the stairs but um I gotta go pick up a check and then also go check out a new office that one of my clients bought so I can figure out a sort of cleaning schedule to put them on not really looking forward to that, but that's fine, so whatever. But I mean, I guess I should. It's just one of those kind of things like, this past week has been very stressful, and I know you guys know because you've lived it with me. And it's a good type of stress to, I don't know, it's a good type of stress. Not everything else, but this kind of stress. Like, oh, I'm getting so busy with clients, I don't know where I'll put them. Like, that's... That's a great type of stress to have. It's just that I'm just physically tired a lot all the time. And it's not like the first trimester where I felt anxious and, um, yeah, like I had like this really bad anxiety. I don't know if you guys remember that, if you guys have been with me since the beginning. But there was a point when, in, back in April, when I did end up going to meet a new client and meet, like, and ended up looking at these new offices, our newest offices that we have. And I was so, I had such bad anxiety. I couldn't sleep the night before. I was crying the day of because I'm like, what if they don't like me? And that has nothing to do with anything. And I used to have really bad anxiety growing up as well. Like, oh my God, like so, so bad. So to feel that way, it was just like really, I don't know. I didn't like it. It just freaked me out. And it's kind and it's not like that right now. Well, it's kind of like it, but I just don't want to. Right now, it's just really weird. I don't want to be bothered almost like I just I I guess it's what one would call nesting or just like settling down I don't really like going far from home I don't like going out to places and normally I love it normally I'm all about let's go here let's go there but it's just so I don't know like I just get filled with like this just this nasty like nagging feeling like no I just want to stay at home or no I just want to be here like I don't know and I think it might be because my body is getting close to like having the baby. I don't know if that sounds dumb or maybe it's all in my head, but, um, whatever, regardless, I just, you know, I don't want to go tomorrow and I'm, and then it's also kind of stressful as well because I just want to spend these last few weeks just relaxing and just hanging out and trying to focus on getting ready for the birth of our son. And of course, everything is happening right now, which is, I mean, it's fine because this entire pregnancy has pretty been, pretty much for the most part, not pregnancy aside, but everything outside of my pregnancy has been pretty chill and pretty laid back. So I guess I can't complain. And like I said, it's a good type of stress to, you know, have a new client and not know where I'm going to put them. I will figure out something because I always do, but... I just, I, you know, whatever, I just, I can't keep, I can't shake that feeling in the back of my mind or in the back of wherever that is just like, uh, I just want to stay at home and I just want to curl up in a little ball. So whatever, but I'm going to say goodnight to you guys. And if you guys like today's vlog, you guys should like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye.